am Jeff the Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Uh, today we're going to go uh, back into yesteryears. That's right. Uh, we're going to make uh, fried bologna sandwiches and uh, maybe a little surprise after that. We'll see. But uh, fried bologna sandwiches and, and stuff, that's like for us older people. I am 53, almost 54 years old. And uh, the younger crowd they might not uh, understand the uh, kind of the foods we ate when we were children. But uh, we're going to show right now, though. <laughs> Let's go over to the kitchen. I'm going to show you how to put all this together. Come on. Okay, I got my pan heated up here. And what we're going to do is grill some mushrooms and onions and get yourself a really nice extra virgin olive oil. Don't, 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 don't buy that corn oil or something like that. that that's for deep frying. This is what we're going to do. Is we're we're going to cook in this. My brother bought me this for Christmas. And I appreciate it. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate it. Very tasty. Pour a little bit in that. And we're going to throw in some onions. Some mushrooms. And then we're going to go ahead and let this cook down. Of course, I'm not going to show you how to grill onions and mushrooms. We all know how to do that already. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this until this is done. And then we'll be back in a second. Okay. I got all the onions and mushrooms out of here, put a little bit more EVOO in there, and what we're going to do is we're going to fry our bologna. Just slide it right in there. Turn our fire up just a little bit. Now I know us older viewers already know what that slit is for. But the younger viewers, what I'm going to tell you right now, make a little slice in there, and you're blown in like that. And what that is for, it doesn't bubble up into a balloon. It'll spread out. Us older folks already knew that. <laughs> but we're going to get this going. I'm going to fry her on up. Nice little flip. Already starting to get there. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. They look just like the little Pac-Mans. That's what we used to call them. But keep flipping them. Let them fry up a little bit. I know in our younger years, we used to just put this like on, on white bread, maybe with a little bit of American cheese. But uh, today we're going to do a little twist. We're going to put them on a Kaiser roll with some mushrooms and uh, some mozzarella cheese. We can zip it up. There's nothing wrong with zipping up an old favorite. Nothing wrong with that at all. Okay, this is just about done. Getting ready. Oop. Yeah, she's getting ready. 
already starting to fall apart so yeah so we're gonna go ahead and take these out let me pause the fire slide this over get this into view is that in the view? Let me check. Yeah, I can see it, I guess. Put that in there. Ah, our cheese is stuck. Okay, we're going to use American cheese then. Mozzarella cheese stuck to the plate, so we're going to use this. That's okay. Not a problem. Put just some grilled onions on there. With the mushrooms. some french fries. See? There you go. There she be, a new twist on an old classic. Hey, fried bologna sandwiches and some french fries. Okay, now this, we're going to pause this and we're going to cook up another one. I got a surprise for you. Yeah, us older people, we know what's going on. We know what's coming up. We know what's coming up. All right. You know I had to make a video of this, right? <laughs> we all know what this is. Yes, yes. Oh, stop it, stop it. We used to eat this all the time. Cut it out. Cut it out. It's good. I'm just going to make a couple of these real quick. And we're going to fry these up. Turn our fire back up to about 310. These are old classic dishes that we used to eat when we were children. Keep them moving around so they don't stick to the bottom. Give them a little turn. Brown them up. Yeah, a lot of people they tease about this these these kind of dishes today. But back then, this is about all we had. You couldn't really go to the grocery store and and, and just grab any old kind of TV dinner or something. They, they had TV dinners, but it wasn't not, not, not like today. Shit, you can buy macaroni and cheese now. Already made. All you gotta do is open it up and eat it. We didn't have that back then. Put these up just a little bit more. Turn our fire up just about uh, 340 degrees. Get her going. Make 
sure to keep moving them around so they don't stick down to the bottom. We're getting there. Another second or two like that and uh, I probably could brown them up a little bit more but I haven't run out of time here. I'm trying to make my videos at under 10 minutes. Let me crank up the fire to about 370. And these dishes are from our childhood past. And there's nothing wrong with this. Keep going with them. Keep, keep eating them. Why? Because we want to. Not because we have to. There's a lot of dishes that, uh, that are starting to pop up from yesteryears. Okay, I think we're fried up just about as far as we can go without it starting to burn. Go ahead and pause it and turn the fire off. Put that down on our hoagie bun. Oh yeah. Put our cheese down on there. Yes, it does smell good. <laughs> Put you the onions and mushrooms. There you go with some french fries. bring that up to the camera and there you go fried bologna and fried spam our childhood memories are coming back can you see that or is it too uh yeah I suppose you can see that yeah there you go there you go and there you go bologna sandwiches French fries, and even spam sandwiches. Uh, the younger crowd, like I said before, the younger crowd doesn't quite get it. Because there's a lot of foods today that, that we can get at the grocery stores. But when we were kids, we didn't get that many foods that when we were kids. We had to eat what we had to eat. And bologna sandwiches and even spam sandwiches was one of them. But today, we can eat what we want. Right? That's true. So... It's not a point of having to eat what we what we ate when we were kids. It's a point of wanting to eat what we when we were kids. So enjoy that stuff and cook it up. Why not? I am Judge Chef, and thank you for visiting. Bye bye.